guys welcome back to sunday refresh hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today's video is going to be the second in my new series called sunday refresh it is all about getting yourself ready for the week and being refreshed and ready to start the week off on an awesome note. Today is going to be a little bit different because we're actually leaving for vacation tomorrow. Yay! It is a super last minute thing that we planned. We're going to the beach, so I have my list ready. I need to pack everybody up. I did clean the house yesterday, so there really isn't any cleaning to do. I think I still have to do the floor in the kitchen. But other than that, everything is done. I do need to finish my video that's going live today at 3 o'clock, plus edit a video that is going to be a collab for tomorrow. We'll have already posted by the time you guys see this. And it's a collaboration um, with some people here on YouTube, um, Carla McKenzie. Um, awesome channel and also Missy from the welder's wife so they're all doing grocery hauls as well posting them so it's gonna be like a big long playlist so anyway if you haven't seen that go back and watch it um, or I'll leave it in the I cards up here in the corner so you guys can check that out but so I think the first thing I'm going to do is focus on my videos because that is a top priority even though we need to pack and then going to get to packing so you guys can see what that looks like. I'm pretty sure we're grilling out tonight. My husband took out some chicken. Um, so yeah, but I actually want to show you guys something really quick. I started using this this morning. It's, um, and I bought it and I could have been using all this year, but I haven't. It's a faith planner from Happy Planner. So I'm not going to show you the notes that I took today because faith is something that's kind of personal. Um, and whatever you get out of like your sermons or whatever you're studying at the time. But I like the fact that it's scripture reading plan and keywords up here. And then this is observation application and then prayer list. And then they have this section over here. So sermon notes. So this is for the entire week if you're doing stuff during the week. And then if you go to church on Sundays, this is for sermon notes and this is study notes. And then it does have these like checklists. So as you can see here, it has like God, others, me, and then it has checklists for like reading, prayer, gratitude, all for the week, um, blessings this week, what you're grateful for. So I started filling it out in church this morning, um, my sermon notes, and I just really liked it. I thought it was really awesome. So I hope you just came inside to make the kids lunch. They've been playing outside all morning while I was at church and then ran to Target. I'm going to sit down and get these videos out really quick. And then I'm going to move on to packing us for vacation. Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now. to show you guys what I was working on this is a program called pick monkey um, there is a free version I do the paid version you get so much more with it so I was just creating my thumbnail um, these are done by taking screenshots from the movie if I for or the video if I forget to do like actual pictures which sometimes I do and the quality isn't as good but it works um, so just these are just the screenshots on the screen and then I did all of the designing on here so I think this is going to be the layout for my Sunday refresh so they all kind of look the same with like four pictures and um, like just this circle kind of thing setting your week up for success so I think this is going to be like my every week kind of um, what's the word I'm looking for thumbnail and then I'll just change out the pictures but um, and then I just screen, I have a Mac, so I just screenshot this and then that's how I put it in as my thumbnail. But I was just working on that. I'm going to do the, that takes the longest part. Now I'm going to do like the description and the tags on my videos and then it will be all set to go. And then I have to edit my 
grocery haul video, which should not take long at all. So I just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute while I, lighting is not very good in here. I probably should turn the light on, but um, while I'm getting this video uploaded, but I just wanted to tell you, I've been doing like kind of like a Sunday refresh type thing for a very long time. And I just really feel like it really, really helps us be ready for the week and not feel like I'm scrambling last minute. Um, I always try to clean my house on Friday or Saturday. So Sunday is really like working on self-care and doing the last minute stuff that I need to do. Um, I know that Gia from uh, Marriage and Mother Motherhood has been doing, it's called a Sunday setup for a very long time. And absolutely love her videos. So I just wanted to say, put that out there. So if you need somebody else to watch that kind of does like a Sunday type thing, definitely check out Gia's channel. Um, but yeah, I just think that you should really take time to focus on like your family and you and just what whatever you can do to help you to not feel so stressed out during the week like meal prepping and meal planning and all of that stuff. We do all of that every single week. And it really is verbatim, but um, if I didn't do these things, I would be like so lost every week. So I just wanted to give you guys those tips because it really, really, really helps me. All right, so video for three o'clock is up, ready to go, scheduled. My grocery haul video is edited, ready to be added to the playlist that goes live tomorrow. I'm going to quick make my to-do list. Once again, look over, or just one last time, look over my sh packing list, and then I am going to go upstairs. I quickly grabbed clothes out of the kids' rooms and like threw it in my room because they're napping, so I wanted to make sure that I was like able to pack while they were napping. Um, and then I'm gonna go get us packed, so. Let's make this list so that I do not forget to do anything before we leave. Alright, so this is what my list looks like. So I got to post my video link at 4 p.m. I have to do the kitchen floors, pack the bags, pack the car, straighten up, make our bed, put laundry away, and edit Thursday's video. So it's actually not that bad of a to-do list, um, but I would just feel so much better when everybody is packed and ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to show you. This is an Erin Condren Petite Planner. It's a daily and in the back there are some notes pages. So I just did this summer vacation list, um, pack list. So then just everything that I need, everything that my kids need, and all the extra stuff. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna hold this back here. You guys can like kind of screenshot your screen if you're watching this on your cell phone if you need a list. Let's go tackle it. my room disastrous but everything's kind of like laid out in piles all right so so far in the suitcase I just put the diapers so these are all of Caleb's diapers and his swimmer diapers and then you guys know we've been potty training Liam overnight for probably two months now but he still wets the bed and I'm not letting him wet the bed on vacation so we brought pull-ups for nighttime but here is all their pajamas this is the outfit for Tuesday night we go on the boardwalk these are their outfits for Wednesday when we go to the zoo and then 
Wednesday night when we go to a nice dinner and take pictures on the beach. And then these are their outfits for Thursday. That's the day that we come home. I did pack them each like a pants outfit, like jeans and a polo, Liam's underwear. And then I did pack them each a sweatsuit outfit. They're running around outside after a day on the beach and it's cold. Like they're cold because they have a little bit of sun. I don't want them to be cold, so I brought those. These are their bathing suits, but I just realized that Liam only has bottoms and not top. So I'm going to pack this, but I'm going to run to Kohl's later when the kids are in bed. My mom's going to come pick me up, and then I'm going to go see if I can find a top for him. I also want to see if I can find a top or a shorts, a gray shorts for Caleb, because I would like them to be matching, but I put this outfit in here just in case, and we need an extra outfit for him anyway. These are their little swimmer shoes. These are super cute. I got these at Walmart the other day for $10 a piece. And then here is Caleb's sneakers. I have to grab Liam's sneakers yet. Here's a sweatshirt for both of them. And then their bath stuff. And so I think that's it for their clothing needs. I'm gonna get this stuff packed up. Okay, I just wanted to show you this before I put their sweatshirts on top. So I rolled all their outfits together. Like this is his pajama shirt and his pants in one. So I did that for all of their outfits. Here's their shoes. Put these things over here. And I'm just going to put the rest of the stuff in As you can see, I am not getting anything else in here. So this is all of their clothes. All right, you guys, here's all my stuff laid out. So I'm not sure what I'm wearing on the car down tomorrow, but I'm going to wear this on Tuesday to the beach or to, um, <laughs> to the boardwalk. And then, or was I going to wear that to the boardwalk? No, I'm wearing this to the boardwalk on Tuesday night. So I'll wear a bathing suit during the day, this at night. And then I did bring, like, this outfit in case there's, like, in-between time between, like, when we leave and the kid's, like, taking a nap. So just, like, a lounging outfit. This is going to be for the uh, zoo on Wednesday. And then this is my nice outfit for Wednesday night. I may try and pick up a different dress at Kohl's tonight, but not sure. I would have to find the right outfit. This is for Thursday. It's just some shorts and a tank top and then this little thing. I am going to bring a sweatshirt and a pair of jeans just in case. Flip flops, sneakers, bras and underwear, shower stuff, bathing suits. And then this is all everything but makeup. So these are the only oils I'm bringing. I'm bringing our boo-boo roller just in case and our deep relief roller. And then face washes, hairbrush, things like that's in there. Blow dryer, curling iron. These are the two books that I'm taking with me. So I'm going to get that all this stuff packed in there. Another super fully packed bag. Now I just need to pack the bag with all of the towels and the kids blankets in and then double check the diaper bag, get my car bag ready and we should be good to go. So I'm in the middle of cooking dinner but we packed the car. It was just too crazy. You coming out bud? Yes he's wearing pajamas. Don't ask why. Um, so the car is packed so I thought I thought I'd show you guys. It was just too much kids running around um, and trying to like get everything packed to be able to show you like while we were doing it so 
we have this on top of the car and that has our beach chairs and stuff in it and then oh it's locked can you go get my keys bud go get mommy's keys i'll beep i'll beep it because i think the whole car is locked he's gonna go get the keys so i can show you what the trunk looks like okay so this is what it looks like filled to the brim food bag this is towels this is my bag the kids bag is somewhere in there my husband's bag i think this is our neighbor's bag she is going with us um she is her name is robin the kids call her grammy robin so she is going with us she's gonna sit between the car seats in the back so we are filled you guys and let me show you in here you want to show them in there what in Caleb's car seat? Oh, we put it more in an upright position. And mine. What are you doing, Bobby? Hey, uh, Hi. What are you doing? I'm rolling. Are you eating an orange? You are. This is sweet. Okay, can you lock mommy's car back up? Why are you still wearing pajamas, Liam? Did you do it? Good job. Good. Say good job, buddy. Tell him, Caleb. Say, good job, Bubba. Yeah. Just so you know, these were from the dollar store, these little cone things. And let me stand back so I can kind of show you. Our driveway is, like, super long. So we put those there so the kids know. Actually, Liam is just now versed that he puts them out himself. But the kids know that they're allowed to go in this part of the driveway and our neighbor's driveway, and that's it. They're not allowed to go past this because we can't see them from the deck. All right, you guys, I am exhausted. I wanted to show you this sign that I made, though, um, to take with us to the beach. But I did end up vacuuming the floor, kitchen floor, and doing the kitchen floor. We're all packed. The car is packed. We are ready to go. And I made this for vacation, so I'm super excited. Um, just going to the dishwasher's running. Um, it is about 6.18, so I'm probably going to go ahead and end the vlog here. My kids are outside playing. They're going to be coming in soon. We're going to be doing baths, and then I'm going to run to Kohl's to find those two last-minute things that I need. I do want to paint my nails tonight, and then tomorrow morning I'll just work for a few hours before I leave. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of our posts. We will see you guys in our next Sunday refresh. I hope you're ready to tackle the week. Bye, guys.